Like, at the moment, like, I can't just, like... Okay, guys. Like, lots of push-ups, lots of push-ups. Um, my arms would snap. Because I'm a fat bitch right now. Um, it's just way too much weight to put on my joints. So, uh, But that's, that's in the works, obviously. Like, I've got, like, you know... Um, my brother, he's heavy into, like, you know, um... Uh, weightlifting and stuff like that, so... He can help out, you know, on occasions. So... That's pretty cool. But yeah, like, um, when you're on Twitch a long time, you start following a lot of cool people, and it's like, he, keeping up with all of them is almost impossible. Like, I, I, I try, like, you know, maybe every month, I'll, like, audit, um, the people that I follow. I won't unfollow them, I'll just check in to see how they're doing, and, you know, just to keep up with the Joneses kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, for me, like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, it's just like, I knew, like, compared to my health, um, at the end of last year, when I came back from my Japan trip, um, I knew that I, I had definitely let myself get, um, very unfit, and there was, like, shortness of breath and stuff like that, and when you're not used to that, and then you ju you just realize like oh shit I really let myself go. You either accept it and live in regret, or you have to take drastic action. So for me it's like I gotta take that drastic action. I gotta get my sleep, get good sleep in. I gotta um, cut out some of the bad food. I gotta get on my vitamins. I gotta get my exercise exercise game on. I gotta like structure my life around, you know, putting health first and that sort of thing. That's it, eh? Like, because there, there are people, like, that I, like, for example, um, my first follower ever, Ocean Manor, um, if I know that he is on, like, I'll watch him. I'll drop everything and I'll watch him. Because he mixes music, like, I, I, I just, he's my friend. At this, at this stage, I can confidently say, He's my internet friend, um, but he he doesn't. He's he's now a father, so like Twitch is like like fourth, fifth priority for him. Like he's got so many other things going on in his life, um, and so. But I'm cool with like you know the room only having like you know single digit um, people in in the chat. Um, but yeah, there are people that like you know, I know of, and like, I know this streaming, and I know I should pop in my, my head and say, hey, how you doing? Because like, sometimes like, it, it turns into weeks to months, and there are people, like, if you don't, if you don't water your garden, the, the garden withers, right? Those relationships, they get a bit, um, well, non-existent. So, it's, it's just hard, man. Like, I'm, I'm of the, the opinion, like, if I follow you, I'm not going to unfollow you. Like, I don't intend to unfollow people unless they do some heinous shit. Like, but there are lots of people that, like, say, oh, yeah, 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 you know, and, you know, we're cool. And then, like, you know, two months later, because they don't stream, like, they unfollow. And I'm like, huh, all right then. But that, that's not here or there. Um, but, yeah, maintaining and uh, keeping up relationships with people on Twitch... Like, usually when I'm in a, a stream, I hang out. Like, I don't make the rounds. There are lots of people that make the rounds. Like, they'll cultivate a network on Twitch, and they'll pop into a stream for like 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and, but then they're gone. And I'm like... The fuck's that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I, 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 I don't understand. Like, I don't understand, like... Like, I'll have multiple tabs open, for example. Maybe I should have, like, even more tabs open and just lurk. But that's another thing, like, I don't want to lurk a lot of the time. You know? Like... I want to say hello, but also I... It's a double-edged sword. Like, if you say hello, you're inviting a conversation at that stage. And sometimes I just want to, don't want to be bothered. I just want to sit and chill and watch. Ah, this Twitch thing, man. 
the year. I mean, I think I I am. It's just it, it will take time. But um, same can, same can be said for a lot of things. You know, uh, all good things come to those who who do something about it. Not to those who wait. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, back to this video game that I'm currently playing. What are you playing uh, lately? Like, um, obviously you would have done um, RE4 a long time ago. Oh shit, these enemies hit like a ton of bricks. Alright, let's see if we can fire off a magic attack. Jesus! Well, I guess that magic combo attack was um, one of the people that were needed for the magic attack. I got like fucking killed, so that's that's something that happened. Jesus, no mercy! Fucking die! Jesus! Please! I feel like I'm severely under level for this um, area as well. And I hate it when games just... Like, they, they make it so that you're kind of like gated off from the next area unless you like, grind. Like, you know, if I could like level 1 clear a, a, a JRPG, like I would do it. It's like... Fighting? No, just just give me the story. Hmm. It is it is more complicated if you are also a streamer. I agree. Yep. And the more people you do have to please, I think so too. Yeah. You're right there as well. Like, it gets to a point where it's like it kind of stresses you out. Like, you feel obligated to give, like, more of your time and energy. Um, and so, like, you're almost, like, tempted to go, like, just full 180 and just, like, not give your time to anyone and just be selfish and just stream and just concentrate on your own shit. But I don't like going that direction either, you know? Um, but at the same time, I don't like making the rounds. Like, I, I just want to sit sit in a person's stream like a blob and, you know, just like, chat with them for a bit. I don't know. I think, like, being a part of, um, certain communities' discords can help there as well. Like, there's, um, uh, not enough credits. Um, his, um, community, like, um, I know a lot of people through that community, so being a part of... Um, his Discord, like, like everyone kind of talks in there and interacts in there, so that's like a nice way outside of stream to kind of just you know, touch base with people, I think, or just see what they're doing. So that's pretty cool. Um, as far as like you know, other social media like YouTube and Twi um, Twitter or Instagram, um, I know that people do have their like their their social media empire, just like I do. But it's it's like, um... When I drill down, and I'm like, okay, like, what, what am I doing on Twitter? What am I doing on Instagram? Like, I want it to be, like, a value add. Like, why, why do I have this social media account open? Is it just to pimp out, like, hey, I'm on Twitch now. Come to Twitch. I'm on Twitch. Hey guys, uh, new stream. Come to Twitch. Like, if I just use Twitter for that, like, who would want to look at my um, my Twitter? No one. So that the way that I that I structure my shit is like I try to like give people a maybe a single reason to look at you know. For example, with Twitter, like I give my hot takes on NBA. And uh, some other shit. Just, just random thoughts. But that's all Twitter should be. Just random shit. Instagram is um, purely for my gym stuff. Purely. 
and I I also follow uh, music bands on there as well. Um, Discord is like me basically just dumping information that I've found throughout the day and just talk to people there. Um, so I, I try to segment my social media stuff, but it seems like a lot of people like, you know, all they'll do on Twitter is announce that they're streaming. On Instagram, it's, it's all to do with their, their Twitch. Um, it's like all, all the other social media they have is just to amplify the fact that, hey guys, I'm on Twitch streaming. And I'm like, I, don't, I, I could not give less for fuck. Like, I know that you're a streamer. That's why I've even looked at this in the first place. It's, it's, it's redundant to me. So, you know, unless, you, unless you're showing things from your personal life that might pique my interest, like, I have no interest. Like, there's not enough time in the day, like, I follow too many people, I'm interested in too many things. There's not enough hours in my day to give a fuck about what you're doing. So unless you can give it to me in, like, a, like a five second sound bite, it's gonna be real hard to get my interest. Oh, I've got a, I've got a sponsored, what's it, a sponsored deal come up. I, I gotta read this, I'm sorry. This, this is, this is funny to me. Along. Ah, oh, Raid Shadow Legends. God damn, they're really pushing that. Um, I think, um, let's say like you're, you're a, a Twitch streamer, and it's like, okay, this is what I do. Like, if you just have that and nothing else, there's nothing wrong with that at all. In fact, it's probably better. I think, like, we look around and we... We view people as friends, but also as competition and, like, measuring sticks. And we see, like, you know, what everyone else has got going on. And it's like, oh, they got, like, a brand. They got merch. They got all these, you know, social media, like, accounts open. Like, should I be doing that too? Um... And the answer is no, but I mean, like for example, um, with Twitter, like I did, I haven't, I've been using it lately just to give my hot, my, my stupid hot takes on, uh, NBA stuff, but, um, I don't use Twitter regularly at all. Like before this year's NBA season, it was more like, um, it was more like I would like open up Twitter twice a month just to see some random shit and then like log off. I would hardly use Twitter. Instagram I've been using more and more and more because like I just I just I look for useful information and then I save the video and then I move on. And I keep track of my you know musicians and stuff. Like in terms of that sort of stuff, I think Instagram is really good. So um but I, I only post on Instagram just to say, like, I, I did this much um, on the bike today at the gym. That's basically all I use it for. Um, so, would I say that I really use social media? I mean, okay, I'm on YouTube. I use that as a dumping ground for, for Twitch VODs. And for making music playlists. So there's that. Uh, Instagram, I talk about gym. That's it. And I follow music. Twitter, I just talk about random nonsense. But I don't talk about my stream. What else is there? What else do I... What other accounts do I have? I have Spotify, but like... No one gives a shit that I've got Spotify once with Spotify, I guess. Um... That's about it. Now that I think about it. Hitting the nail head, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I feel like um some people are, are in it to win it, and they're in it to get like money and a lot of money at that. And then they've got like they've got metrics in their head, and they've got clear directions as to where they want to go. But I'm like, I I don't accept donations. I'm not affiliate. Maybe sometime down the track. If I turn out to be very successful, I will enable that option and I'll give the money I get to charity, but I don't do this for money. 
I do this just to kind of have a creative outlet. But I feel like, especially the people that go affiliate and they want to get partner, they've got very specific like monetary goals. So they're all into like, you know, branding and marketing themselves. Like they're, they're like, they're going fully down the rabbit hole there. Um, and I, f I think that those people are the ones that are going to burn themselves out the quickest. Because if you do something unnatural for a very long time, like it's not like you'll suddenly learn to love it. You, you'll learn to hate streaming. I've seen a lot of people like just get burnt out because what was once a hobby became a job for them. Like who wants, who wants a second or a third job? Like I don't. Um, and if you talk about like streaming as just like um, a way to be socially active, you know, have like social friends and stuff. Um, streaming is interesting, isn't it? Hey, Compose, what's up? Money complicates things. Yeah, concisely put. But yeah, you're right. It, it is mentally taxing because, like, as a streamer, like you, you're like, um, oh, my regulars, my my regular people, like, where are they? Like, are they in in the chat? And and when when they're not, you're like, oh, did I do something wrong? Am I streaming the wrong game? What do I need to do to bring back the people? <laughs> um, and I feel like that's a that's a concern for people more concerned about money. Whereas personal like myself, like I'm just out here having fun. I'm having fun shooting the shit with you guys. Um, I'm having fun playing my old ass video game. I'm having fun like being creative using OBS, making shit. Um, but maybe like, you know, if I'm really drilling down, do I need to be streaming so much? It's probably... Like, what what benefit is it to my life? For me, like, do I need to stream? No. Um, I do like being creative, though. So... And I, I, I like making connections with people. Which is why a lot of people do stream. Um... But it's weird, right? Um, a lot of people like streaming, but they also like money. So then they want to get the maximum amount of money out of this as they possibly can. And that is incongruent with wanting a true social relationship with people, I think. It's like, hey, yeah, I want to be your friend. But I want to make sure that you're giving your money to me as well. I want to make sure that you're subscribing to my content. It's weird, that mindset to me. It's, it's really foreign and it's really fucking weird. Because, like, when I'm out here meeting, like, random strangers, like, it doesn't matter the age or the gender. It's like, you know, I just, you know, are you cool? Do you like video games? Do you like me? Like, you're not going to make fun of, like, my bald head and the fact that I'm a little bit fat and, like, we're, we're cool? We're cool? We can talk about things? Cause I'm a, I'm kind of a, I'm a kind of smart guy. I'm a smart guy. You're a smart person. We can talk about things and we can be friends, and that's what I like. Personally. Hey, Carlo, you what's up? Uh, my my fellow RA compatriot. Yeah, right. Exactly. Compose. I and I never want to get into that mindset. You know, like if 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 people like. They want to turn up here and talk with me and hang out. That's all I want. It's all I want, and I, I don't want. I don't want it to be a, a quid pro quo. Like, I don't want it to get fucking weird. Like, okay, let's say, let's say, let's say I was a streamer that you know, I'm affiliate and I'm getting money from people. Like, imagine like you know you have a a person that's there in my community for let's say seven months. Seven months they're a subscriber. And then suddenly they, they don't subscribe for a while. So as a streamer, what do you do? Do you start, you know, overanalyzing? Is it me? Is it my content? Like, why aren't they subscribing to me anymore? But when you think about it, isn't that kind of weird? To view the relationship through that prism? 
Like, they're just a random person. Why, why the fuck do they need to give you money? Not me? And, and why is that the first thing you think of when you think of that person? Like, oh, they're, they've stopped subscribing. It, sh it should m more be like, you know... You know, like, if, if they don't come to your stream anymore, and then they suddenly come back after, like, six months. Then it'd be like, oh, why, why will you wait for six months? That's another way of looking at it as well. Because the, 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 the person with the money on the mind, they'd be like, oh, was it something that I was doing to make you stay away for so long? Rather than, oh, you probably had a lot happen in your life. Let's catch up. You know, there's that, there's the cognitive dissonance of, of those two mindsets. That's why, like me personally, I've been very reluctant to go and then turn this into like a, like a side hustle. I don't want people's money because the, when money gets into the relation, the relationship that I have with my viewers, um, I don't like the thought of where that could lead. Hmm. That's why I like small streamers, they're not, um, they're focused on money here. Oh yeah, yeah. And that's all I'm here for. To have fun, to be creative, and to... It's also more like... Is it like narcissism? I wouldn't say it's narcissism, like, I want to improve in certain areas. Alex Dupuz. What's up, sir? What's up, Alex J. Paz? Welcome. Oh, by the way, I've, I've got a few people here now, so I just want to re-announce that I'm going to be on Twitch a little bit more often. Monday to Friday, 7 to 11. That's going to be my new time slot. And if you're on at the same time, I'm real sorry. But, I, like, I'm moving in. I'm moving into the neighborhood. I'm sorry. And I'm probably not going to take away, like, 1% of your audience, so don't worry about me. I'm, I'm just out here chilling. I'm out here living. But, um, yeah. Yeah. So where was I? Video games? Yeah. Video games. Yeah. I'm gonna be making, um, some changes soon as well. Like, um, I've been getting, like, really into Instagram for some reason. And Instagram has some hilarious shit. So I'm going to be making some like video alerts, don't worry, you'll be able to trigger them with channel points, not with money, it's all good, okay? And you might think, because like I seem to constantly go back to the money aspect of Twitch that like I've got something against it, or people that do monetize their shit, I don't, I really don't, it's just I feel like I really need to delineate myself from other people and really explain myself and my thinking. Because I meet a lot of people and they're like, Yo, like, why aren't you affiliate? Why aren't you getting money for this? You know? Um, I have. Further away from the screen. Or f further along in my, in my uh, streaming journey. So, I'm going to be hopefully introducing some um, video alerts in the next couple weeks. I'm going to finally start adding in some sound alerts. Um, spoiler alert, there's probably going to be a lot of fart sounds. Like a lot. Like, and I don't apologize for that. It's just, it's just, it's just how things are going to be. It's going to be a lot more farts in my streams. Um, oh, the game. Oh, the game. Sure, sure, sure. Hmm. I agree, Chris. I think it is, like, um, and, and that's just like our, our own sort of like, um, subset that we are used to and that we can identify with. Like, when you take it to the next level, when you start looking at the top, um, earners on the platform, it gets really strange, doesn't it? You know, like the summits and the Amarants, people who were earning like, you know, six or seven figures from Twitch, um, and, and what you need to do in order to get that amount of money. And what those sort of streams look like. And the audience that they get. And what that would do to you as a person. 
because at that person at that point you're no longer like just like a random you're like an, you're like an e-celeb aren't you which is like a like a very few steps away from like a really low level like hollywood personality hmm I wouldn't want to be one of those people, no matter what amount of money I got. I, I I consider those people sort of strange. I don't know if that's like a a toxic take, but you know. yeah. But in terms of the game, compose. Yeah, we are at the air castle. I'm severely under leveled. I'm getting my my shit pushed in by the enemies here, but you know it's all right. We get by one day at a time. Video alerts are going to be coming in, sound alerts are going to be coming in, um, I'm hopefully going to be fixing on my website so that I don't rely so much on stream elements. Like, the stream elements store, everything is jumbled and I, ca I can't fix it, but what I can do is I could probably replicate that on my own website and say, everyone go there instead. So, that's what I'll probably do from now on. Yeah, there's some there's some things in the works here. Fran was so obsessed with people. Yeah, yeah, liking the content. I mean, some people like they they really want it, and that's you know that that's fine. It's it's fine to want things, you know, you know like oh I want to be skinny, oh I want to um, raise a family, oh I want this, I want that. You know, it's fine to want things. Um, and when you're like, you're deep in a hobby, especially nowadays in 2023, like you, you can't just have a hobby. You've got to be good at your hobby. You can't be shit. All right. <laughs> you, if you've got a guitar, you better be able to play your guitar. You can't just say, ah, ha, ha. Like I, I, I own a guitar, but I, I can't play. Ha, ha, ha. It's not cute. People will shit on you, you know? Um, if you're just starting drawing, like, you better be able to draw something se that's semi-decent, or you'll get laughed out of the room. Like, they'll say, oh, yeah, I could do that. You know, like, you, you can't be shit at your hobby in 2023. So I can understand, like, the desire to want to be good at something and to want to understand, like, why, you know, like, how do I get more people to look at my shit? What do I need to change? Yeah. Yeah. Like ChatGPT. My only friend. <laughs> um, nah, but yeah, seriously, you know, people need mentors as they're going through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, um, today, like, um, no, sorry, yesterday, I posted uh, my first gym post in like a year, and I, I got a comment. I never get comments on my gym shit. And so, what was the comment? It's like, oh, um, it was just like some spam. I thought, huh. But I mean, people do that all the time to get engagement on, on these social media platforms. It's just, it's a, it's a weird fucking game, isn't it? He was good as what he was doing. Right. Some, yeah, some people, like, it, that's what um, uh, Chris and I were just discussing uh, a couple of uh, moments ago. Like, some people get too deep into this streaming shit and it becomes like they're they're all and when it gets to that point you gotta you gotta step away or you need to double down and try to get partner like that sort of mindset that's an all or nothing mindset i feel like but like a person like me i'm not gonna look at my fucking data analytics research page do I look like a person that gives a shit about that? Oh, uh, um, we saw that you were streaming Fantasy Star 4. Um, look at this, this set of data. Um, the people are more likely to watch you playing this game at this time and on this day. Oh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> the end. <laughs> the end. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting lost in the analytics and the num. Yeah. Oh, and. Like, I knew about that sort of stuff for years, following people on YouTube. I think creators on YouTube, they were the, the first ones to get burnt out by this stuff. Maybe, well actually, like Twitch, 
streaming, but like with Twitch 